Okay, so you know. Normally, when this type of dialogue comes up, I just pulled up because somebody was behind me. It smelled like the projects. But this is before I got here. But anyhow, normally I, I don't um, talk about this kind of thing. But right now, I, I'm going to just tell you what's taking place. So I'm at Walmart. There's clearly an ambulance. Before there was an ambulance, there was a fire truck. Okay. And they were talking about how I knew, you know, they were acting like something happened to me while I was here. Okay. And a moment ago it looked like the female that they brought out on the stretcher might have gotten out and went back in to work it looked like something happened at subway but it looked like she might have gotten out and went back into work and so in that moment you know i was just paying attention to the stretcher and then the federal government began to talk about how I went off on them and lost my mind when they put me on a stretcher. They said that Romano was going to know that nothing really never happens to me. They were noting how they always put themselves under these wrong impressions before they show up to do some damage. Okay. So there was a time at the beginning of this thing beginning to unfold when they were trying to, you know, establish him as me and me as him. And, you know, he made two statements one of the statements he made out of nowhere was like you're not a boss and like you you ain't never been a boss and i'm talking about and i told him i said what are you talking about i've been a manager at every job that i have and this is already during a time where i think something is mentally wrong with him right like because we're just seeing him kind of like downward spiral or whatever and it was all because you know like the agenda how they how things weren't going well or according to plan on how they planned on attacking me and he was mad because they weren't keeping me from doing certain things so they weren't keeping me from leaving the city they weren't keeping me from leaving the state they weren't um making sure that i couldn't earn right away okay so the other statement was but you act like don't nobody ever talk to you like that. Like, and this is, these are two separate times. These two things take place. And this time the dummy, okay, has the nerve to say like, I act like don't nobody ever talk crazy to me. And I told him like, you, you should have saw how stupid it was looking. Now this card has been sitting here as a decoy the whole time. It's finally leaving, pulling off. And I told and I, you should have seen how stupid, like dumbfounded I looked at him. Like, I, it was so subtle. I'm going to try to mimic it. I looked at him like, the fuck you mean? That kind of expression? I said, they don't. Like, don't nobody get out the pocket with me. Don't nobody talk crazy to me because I go in your mouth. And then they started talking about how they later told him that I hit people right in their motherfucking mouth. And that's why people don't try me. So they were they were talking about how like they were putting this wiring the agent that was using the identity under the wrong impression to try to get him to pull off something. And there was even one time where I called his baby mama bitch. And it was so casual. You know, it wasn't even like how he was doing some extreme shit. And I'm like, nigga, don't be trying to check me about no bitch you don't even give a fuck about. And he's like, he on the other end of the phone. La, 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 Well, I'm coming over there when I get off. When a nigga show up, he show up with another attitude. The federal government saw me tear my mom's living room up. They knew I was going to beat his ass. This is all this real stupid shit. And then it'll show up with a different, when they play, when they run these type of scenarios and they see how shit is going to go and that you ain't going to never be able to get crazy with me, try to disrespect me or try to belittle me ever no motherfucking day, nigga. Or act like I don't know my motherfucking life, nigga. I tear shit up. And that was then. This is not like I kill anybody over some shit like that now. Before I knew what I knew, I was just I would have just fucked somebody up real bad. Now I kill you. Knowing that these are demonic attacks, knowing that these are demons, knowing that these are federal agents using these identities and showing up and trying to have fucking physical altercations with me. 
trying to act like you're going to take something from me. Trying to act like you're going to claim my motherfucking dominance. This is all shit I've never had to speak of. Like, I never had to speak about y'all. And now they're, they're attacking my brain. I feel like this, this clenching feeling on the left side and my speech. Like, I, the words aren't going to flow anymore. I can't wait till this gets out and I can talk about this type of topic freely because you won't believe how the federal government never tried me with no motherfucking body. And then when the agenda was in full effect, they started trying to try it as that motherfucker, the motherfucker that helped his whole life. And he's talking about, I don't know who I am, that I don't remember who I am as if I had a fucking trauma.